Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Play City Skylines and Modded Series. This is the River I Met, and we're playing on Ezity City. Hope you guys are well. On the last episode, we did a couple of things. We started zoning the high density areas, and then we added the solar updraft tower and decided to retire the wind power. But we'll probably uh, go back to wind power if I have a part of the map that's pretty uh, isolated or away from everything. What we're going to do today, we're actually going to start zoning some more. Maybe the left uh, quadrant, because that's pretty empty right now. And then decide whether or not we're going to keep some interchanges. But we'll see. Without further ado, let's begin. This is the start of an interchange. I am keeping the spacing that I've been using for the interchange, which is, so it's not 120. It's actually, what was it? It's five tiles. So I'm not sure I'm, what the measurement is or, or the cost in the dirt roads, but I, I lay out the, the markers or the markings with the dirt roads. So I'm trying to figure out how to, what the best way is to make this interchange. I realize this part's a little tight. I'm starting with off ramp here from the right hand side. Later on, I discovered that uh, this thing is going backwards, so it, it doesn't really pan out well. So if I want to do an overpass or uh, put a road underneath and it's being blocked by a pillar, I add a little uh, divot and it removes that uh, pillar. So that's one of the, uh, the tricks I have, but it, it kind of distorts the circular or if, if it's a curved road, it distorts it. So it's best used if it's a straight road. Here I am making measurements to do this optimal curve road for the opposing end, for the off ramp, and uh, trying to keep it the same size as the one on top. I like uniformity when building my cities. Sometimes it looks better like that, then there are other times when or the organic look looks pretty, pretty nice. I wanted to continue the, uh, the segue, uh, the on-ramp and off-ramp into the avenue, uh, major art arterial road, major avenue. So looking for when the curve is supposed to be and trying to match that, making it look okay. So 
it takes a couple of tries, but I just wanted to make sure the spacing was good. Here I made a roundabout, or a uh, what looks like a hot dog about that we had in uh, the earlier stages of this, this city. Because uh, I realized the direction of These, uh, this interchange is reversed and uh, I think later on I, I do decide to redo this thing because so you see the right hand side supposed to go to the right hand side of the roundabout because the right hand side of the road is facing that in that direction so I, I think I do eventually scrub it. Here I am trying to crisscross the roads. It was a, a little confusing. I believe I, I will, was playing this particular one hour segment before I had to go to work. And I don't know, the first time you wake up, you're doing something and you're trying to think. It doesn't always register that it's backwards. The hot dog about is, is already uh, in reverse. So if, if I did come from a different direction, that would have been easier, but uh, we'll see how this pans out. I don't delete the whole thing until much later. Looks with the extended avenue. I think it, this solution is, is a bit better. You do find out, and when you when I do the, the to expose the traffic uh, overlay, that it, it does work out. So an on ramp, and then I make an off ramp here too. Speaking of off-ramp, here we go. It's a little crooked. I believe I spent some time trying to make this curve a little better. Um, it has to do with this, the sharp change in the elevation. You want to do this gradually, so what would, you would have to do is delete from the little bit uh, towards the, the end of your road or your turn and then see if you can make it work. Uh, sometimes it, it'll create a pillar underneath or most of the time, so you have to work around that. So 
So we got a troublesome four-way intersection. I experimented with a this kind of road that has two roads in one direction, one road in one direction. I believe it's part of the industry's uh, DLC. I'm not sure. I uh, I happened to get all the DLCs at once, or most of them at once, uh, when it was gifted to me by Twitch community, and uh, so. I haven't been keeping up what's in the vanilla game or not. Uh, to correct a couple episodes ago, this is, I guess this wouldn't be called a vanilla game because I have these uh, DLCs, but uh, I, I meant to uh, say that this was uh, unmodded series, so I don't use any mods. So oh, this is a perfectionist to me, trying to make sure this looks good. So I deleted and redid the, the segment. It has to be a gradual thing when uh, there's a change in elevation. So I ticked it up too, then I tried to make a curve up. I believe it works out in the end. So here, I tried to experiment with something. So I have a six lane avenue turned into a four lane avenue because I don't need that many roads when I'm transitioning from a major avenue to a, or a arterial road. Yeah, a ma major avenue to a uh, collector road. So I did that on the other side too. Hopefully it helps out with the traffic by uh, logically changing the amount of roads that you actually need. I believe it does work out. Uh, here you see it's green and I, I am checking out the uh, high density uh, zoning here. Uh, it happens to be not that bad of traffic, actually not, not really much traffic at all, so that really worked out. Here, uh, we're examining this, this little uh, thing it's starting to turn red. I may have to redo this. I'm thinking about doing a massive interchange, a uh, one major one, so that it, I don't have to uh, do something like this. Here I am uh, optimizing the road. It, uh, it looks okay organic, but I believe I end up using uh, actual guides to make it look a bit better. I'm not entirely sure I like this looking at it now, because it has a lot of weird bumps, and you don't like, I don't know who in real life likes driving over weird bumps or weird roads. I know my car doesn't appreciate it. And yeah, here we go. We're uh, doing the guides with the dirt roads. So I'm making uh, right angles of equal uh, distance or equal cost. Yeah, equal distance and cost. And that way it can curve in, in a geometric way. So this is how to do it uh, geometrically. You extend the part of the road you'll, where you're trying to curve at that end, and then the rest uh, follows suit. I think that looks pretty good.
Right, even though it's geometrically sound, I don't like that how it twists <laughs> and buckles when you're trying to get on here. It looks kind of dangerous. Um, if I were to drive that in real life, my car would it'd probably be really taxing on your uh, axle. And you would have to get a realignment. Here I'm checking whether or not the, uh, the changes I made for sound for the game. So I believe all the trucks uh, figured out where to go. And they're all being used, so I did good. We did good, guys. <laughs> Ever since that one time I forgot to save the game, I've been trying to save as often as, <laughs> as I can. Maybe towards the end, so that's what you see me doing. Anyway, I believe this is all the time that we have. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. This is City Skylines, a modded series river run map that we're playing on the SD map. Anyway, if you do like the content, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Like, follow, comment, or subscribe, ding that bell, and I'll see you in three days. John Nezadan, signing out. Take care.